All right, so now we can start working on the front end of our application. I gotta come here and let me just close this my server, Control C. And yes, I wanna close it up. And then I'm going to install the React Create React app on the front end. So uh, let me just close this up and then I'll just say npm, sorry, mpx, or let me expand this so that you can see it clearly. I have a very long path here. Control Z, Control C. Yeah. So here I'll say npx and create hyphen React app. And then I'll specify the name of the app, which I'm going to call front end. So front end. So it's going to install create React app on a folder which we're naming front end so remember we already have this back end so beside this we're going to have a front end folder all right i'll hit enter and of course this is going to take just a maybe a couple of minutes i'll just pause the video and then i'll come back when it's done all right so our react app has um finished installing so what we just need to do is to do some cleanup and for now, I'm just going to close up some of these guys. I'll just leave only my server file open. So let's open this up and yeah. So close the back end and then this is our front end. So in our front end, we're just going to do very quickly do some cleanup. That's to just, you know, brush up some things. So I'll go into my source folder and I would open my, um, I would open my app.js. And then I would also open my index.js. Yeah, so these two files, I'll, I'll need them open. So first off, let's delete some things we don't need. App CSS, I don't need it. App test. I'm not also going to be using app test. Um, I don't need the logo for this project. I don't need the report web vital setup test. Okay, so I'll just delete them. And of course, when you delete them, you know you have to remove the places where they were referenced. Okay, so you see it's a lot neater here so let's get rid of i'll start from the app js i'll just get rid of the app css and the logo which i'm not using i would replace everything inside of this header um, inside of this div i'll just add a hello world like so yeah then i'll remove this class of app okay so that's the first um changes i'll make here then in my index i would remove the Report web vitals, which I'm no more using. Then I'll also delete it here. Okay. I'll leave strict mode on because I'm, yeah. Then I'll go ahead and save. Okay. So now I think we can start our React app. But I'll add a script that will, you know, make it easy for us to start our React app right from this root file here. So for that, I would close the front end and then go to the package.json in the root file and then I'll just add another script here so you see we have a back end script now I'm going to add a front end script so let me just duplicate this guy and I'm going to change this to front end because that's the command I want to run to start my front the front end part of my application so how do we start the front end part of our application? Well, let me delete everything we have inside here. We use npm start. But you know that this front end part of our application, it's inside its own folder. So it's not directly accessible here. It's within this front end folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a what is known as a prefix. So I'll say prefix and then front end. Front end. So what this will do is that it will look inside of this front end folder and look for your react app then start start it that's basically what i just said i want this to do so now let's go ahead and save this guy and then within this root folder here this main task app i'll join i'll then run npm and run front end front end and then i'll hit enter so let me just minimize this guy and open up my browser here so that it will start inside of the browser so you see here we've been able to start our react app and we have our hello world here 
So one other thing we need to do is we need to install some packages that our React app is going to use or depend on. So I'm going to come here. Now to actually install those packages, I need to be inside of this front end folder. So I'll, I'll create a new terminal. So I'd, how do I create it? Okay, I'll click on this plus icon to create a new terminal. And then in the new terminal, I'll install some things that our React app needs. So let me expand this so that you can see me type it out correctly. Okay, great. So here I'll say npm. Come on, help me out. Okay, so before I do npm, I would actually need to cd, which is change directory, and go into the front end. Okay, I have no idea why this stuff is hanging. Okay, so I'll go into the front end. So you see currently I'm in the front end directory, which is our React app. Now, inside of this front end directory is where I can now do npm install, and I'll install three packages. The first is Axios. Axios is what a package that helps us make HTTP requests to our back end. Then I'm also going to install React hyphen icons. Then lastly, I'm going to install React Toastify. So React hyphen Toastify. All right. So that's it. T O A S T. I F Y. It helps us to, you know, throw notifications, error notifications, success notifications. I'll hit enter so that these three packages can install. And when it's done, we're going to continue. All right. So I think the installation of those guys is complete. Let me just confirm. Uh, at this point, I'll close this package.json and index HTML as well. Okay. Then I'll just open up the package JSON for my React app just to be sure that the package. So I have Axios, I have React icons, and React Justify. So, yes, they were properly installed. There's one thing I forgot to add to our installation, and that is Node SAS. That's what we're going to use to process our SAS and you know compile it to raw CSS. So you just need to say npm install node hyphen SAS. All right, then just hit enter. This will just install node SAS into our um, React dependency in the package JSON. Now you should confirm it before you proceed. Now let me close this up. Now there's one more thing we need to do. Uh, we need to modify our index CSS file. So all these styles we have here, come on, we're going to have our own styles. And because our focus is not on CSS, it's on MERN, backend with Node and Express, and then React. I already prepared the CSS uh, markup, um, sorry, CSS styles for this particular project, and I've saved it in a special GitHub repository, Zenotrust Men Task Styles. Men Task Styles. Okay, so if you go there, you see this CSS file. Just open it up and just copy the styles you have there. I'll leave a link to the description. So I'm just going to click on copy. Aha, so it's copied. And then I'll just come here to my index CSS and just paste that in. So these styles will be applied throughout our project. I'll go ahead and save. And that's it as far as the styles is concerned. Now, because we still have maybe, okay, I think at this point we can see that we've properly set up our application. We're ready to start developing. Just one more thing though, and we're going to do that in the next video. All right, see you there. All right, so guys, this is me from the future coming to show you something i feel is important so the way our application is set up we have our front end and our back end and we have different commands for running the front end and the back end but i can show you a, a package that we can use to run both the front end and the back end with just a single command and it's a dependency package so to install that i'm going to say npm install and the name of the package is con currently and because we don't need this package in production, we're going to give it a flag of dash D. So it's going to be a dependency array. It's only going to be on our computer, on our local setup. It's not going to be deployed to the cloud. So I would hit enter and then it will install. All right, so the package has finished installing and you will not find it in your dependency. But if you scroll down, you see your dev dependency and you find it there. So the way you can set up a script that can run both the front end and the back end um, is I'm just going to come down here. 
add a comma and duplicate this guy and then i'm just going to change the name so basically i'll just run both scripts so i'll just call it both so every time i say npm run both i'm talking about running the front end and the back end so you just have to specify the front end and the back end so uh, what i'm going to do next i'm going to come inside here and let's clear this up and i'll see it's going to start by saying concurrently so i want to concurrently run both the front end and the back end so the first is going to be this like this and then i'll say npm don't worry about the errors we're going to fix that with back ticks or with backslashes so i'll say npm i'll run the back end first to so run back end then i'll come add another double uh, calibrases and then here i'll say npm run front end okay so you see these errors this red uh colors we're seeing here that's because we have so many double quotes here so we are just going to use back uh, backslashes to escape them so i'll come here i'll add a backslash you see it has escaped that first one i'll come to this one add a backslash then i'll escape this one and then lastly i'll escape this one so now we don't have any error okay so that's the command that we need to run both the back end and the front end simple so go ahead and save this file and then let's try it out so i'll come here and then i will run i'll say npm run both and then i'll hit enter enter and let's see what happens So I don't want to post this. I actually want. So you see, it's running concurrent. It has run concurrently. So it's going to run the back end and the front end. So let's just wait for it to run the back end. Voila. So you see, it's running the back end on Nodemon. After that, it's going to run the front end. So you see, it's running the front end. So technically, with that single command, we can run both the back end and the front end. Of course, this start command. Don't forget that it's reserved for when we upload our project to the server. Alright, thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one.